Hi there. I'm always telling you that at the first level we are problem solving a very specific current situation in our dreams. And since most of us are going through the same thing, this gives us the opportunity to examine via our dreams how each of us is managing. These four examples are all up on my IGTV and I just want to highlight for you here four completely different dream theories in action. The first example is Girl With No Job, who uses the Holocaust as an exercise to practice what it feels like to be in a situation that you have no control over. And by putting herself in the situation of the Holocaust, she's actually providing a rehearsal to give herself an opportunity to exercise that muscle of what it feels like not having any control. And once you exercise that for a while, I always translate those kind of dreams to been there, done that. Because if you've been practicing in your dreams for the last three weeks, situations under which you have no control, then you build up that muscle and the virus thing, you're gonna start feeling more relaxed about it. Why? Because you've been rehearsing what that feels like in your dream and you feel more comfortable with it. That's the first example. Here's the second one. Jacqueline gave us two examples. One in how she was choosing places, people, and objects like the jacuzzi that are safe places for her, where she said she associates a feeling of being comfortable. And that's where, so she's, so that dreamer is pointing herself to um, suggestions about what she can do during this difficult time to hang with the people that she suggests in the dream that make her feel comfortable with and also to go to the jacuzzi. And then the next day, her discussion continues still on the same subject, but now she uses a scale in order to talk to herself about the weight. So it seems like she's talking about W-E-I-G-H-T, but she's not. She's talking about the weight, W-A-I-T, which all of us are doing, waiting to see when this quarantine is over and when we're going to get back out again. So it's not that she's not talking to herself about her weight, W-E-I-G-H-T, but the main thrust of the discussion is the virus and how is the dreamer managing. And all of us are doing the same thing. I'm just giving you four different examples of how different people give themselves solutions to this issue that all of us are looking at. Okay, a third example on the way. Okay, the third example is the Facebook follower who dreams that he won $250 million in an online lottery. And as you see in the analysis, that's a dreamer who's feeling all the way down here and for, actually forgets what it feels like to feel good and gives himself an unbelievable situation to help create a balance in his head and also to feel good. And that's what I call take that feeling and run with it. So it's different than girl with no jobs, been there, done that. This is take that feeling and run with it because the unconscious is reminding that dreamer what it feels like to feel good. And he did wake up feeling good. So there's the lesson of the third example. Stay tuned, there's a fourth one coming. Finally, the fourth example is a dreamer using people from her life and her associations to them that help her lean in to the personality trait that she needs right now. And also dreams can point you to personality traits that you want to lean away from. So you always want to be asking yourself, and you'll see that in the analysis. I'm going to leave it for you to watch that analysis and that dreamer. But the point is, you know, you see these different personalities in your dreams. You ask yourself, what are my associations to that person? In particular, just quickly, her example of her grandfather was that he was always calm and steady. Nothing was too big for him. He had a wave of calm about him. And so 
She's using that personality. She's That's the personality she wants to lean into at this particular time when she herself is not feeling particularly calm. So she brings herself there and even that grandfather is running towards her in the dream. So she's literally embracing that personality trait because that's what she needs. So it's, uh, it's um, not a wonderful thing, this virus, but it is allowing all of us to take a look at your dreams and see that mirror that I'm always talking about, except this time we're all talking about the same mirror. So it's really, I hope you agree with me, pretty fascinating. And I would actually love to know if you also think it's as fascinating as I think it is. That's why I've been doing this for 47 years. Have yourself a great day.